supposed to put it on my nose? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> what is your mom doing that? Mm. <laughs> is that all my makeup people are wasting? Hey, babe, calm down. I'll buy you another one. Don't be jealous because I'm looking better than you. <laughs> yes. Daddy, could you help me with the lipstick? Okay. So lipstick. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, babe, you need to check my lips. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you know, if you make me any prettier, I'll run for Miss World and I'll win. <laughs> Frida, Frida, leave my husband alone. <laughs> leave my husband alone. Mm. People should come and eat. I'm coming. Then smack your lips. I need to smack my lips, right? Look at this. Whoosh! Am I not talking to human beings? We're coming. Uh, why so jealous? Don't uh, be jealous. <laughs> Where are you carrying makeup to? Is it stew? What are we eating? Ah, do you like my makeup? Let's pray. Alright, let's pray. Father, we thank you. Just look at yourself. What's all this? <laughs> oh, it's too fun. You know our daughter plays a lot. You know, you're beginning to give this girl too much attention. Huh? It's becoming very annoying. Uh, See how you wasted all my makeup? Come on now. It's just makeup. I'll replace it. And are you saying that I can't play with our own daughter again? Don't be jealous now. Jealous of what? I'm just saying that... You are giving her too much attention. I am the wife in this house. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yes, you are the wife. And no one is competing with you. But she's our daughter. Too. Adopted daughter. Mm, as long as there is a daughter and you're adopted, I'm okay. Huh? Where are you going to? Huh? <laughs> You know, I like it when you play hard to get here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Honey, um... Are you the one wearing her shoes for her? I mean, can't she wear her shoes herself? You should be dressing up for work yourself now. You shouldn't be here kneeling down in front of a child. Look, it's not a biggie. Besides, I've had my bath already. I'm half dressed, so I won't take time. She's just a kid. She's eight. She needs guidance every now and then. Is she a baby? Yes, eh? Please, the food is ready. You can't wear your shoe yourself. You let my husband kneel down to wear your shoe for you. Stand down there like a queen. I'm just saying, let her grow up, teach her right, let her wear shoe herself. Daddy, don't yeah. worry, I can do it. It's okay, I'll do it. I can finish up. It's okay, Jerry, I'll do it. You are spoiling this child though. Whatever. Yeah. So you're just kneeling down like that? How do you want me to do it? Yes. All right, there you go. Biscuit, you sick.
How are you today? Fine. Where's your mom? She's sleeping. She's not feeling fine. What's wrong? I don't know, but she's running temperature. And as a doctor that I will be, I'm attending to her. So just let her rest. Okay, I will, Dr. Freda. So what do you want to do? Do you have other patients you want to attend to? Just let her rest. I'll check her in the morning. Okay. All right. I'll let her rest. <laughs> All right, Daddy. Good night. Good night. All right, sleep tight. So, babe, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? Because Dr. Frida can continue taking care of you all by herself when I'm not around. Hmm. Well, later on, I'll just find my way to the pharmacy and get some drugs. No. No, you're not going to do that. Self-medicating is wrong. Baby, we know it's malaria now. Just malaria. Mm. I'll just get some malaria drugs and mm -mm. I'll be okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We don't know for sure if it's malaria. Mm. You need to get to the hospital, see a doctor who will advise on what to do, whether to run tests or not, and then we can ascertain what's wrong with you. Mm. Mm. This self-medication, no, no, it's not going to happen. You're not going to stop, are you? Mm -mm. Okay, fine, I'll go. Good, now that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. But wait, I don't understand. Like, because you are feeling some type of way, I cannot... I cannot do what? Mrs. Isabel, your test result is out and... Uh, you're not suffering from malaria. Doctor, what is wrong with me then? <laughs> well, your test result says that you are three weeks pregnant. <laughs> there you go. Come on, go on. <laughs> Congratulations, ma'am. Congratulations. Doctor, I'm at pregnant. Of course you are. Go to the files. They're all certified and verified. <laughs> What's going on? Oh wait, 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 wait. You left this house feeling all sick and now you return, you jumpy. Where did you go to? To see a doctor or a native doctor? Oh, stop it. Okay. You're not going to spoil my mood. All right, I don't intend to. So tell me, what's making my supposed sick wife this excited? Oh. What is this? Open it! <laughs> better be good. Oh. Okay, so your mother is pregnant. We are going to have a baby boy organ. Yeah, thank you, mommy. Oh, so very 
Gusto nang ka biyado ni Jesus. Oh yes. Tati. <laughs> Very soon is going to give us a new playmate. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I go finish it. Mm. Mm. I wonder what name I'm. Doing. Can we just eat? Just talking about it. Stop, really stop. Second wife. Hmm? What's wrong with you? Why would you refer to Frida as my second wife? Ah, huh. are we not co-wives in this house? Apparently, you can't keep a secret, and you are a man. Every little thing that happens in this house, you go and tell that girl. Everything that happens in your office, you tell that girl. Everything that happens in your dream, you tell that girl. What kind of a man are you? Isabel, is everything okay? What is wrong with you? Why are you talking about Frida in this manner? Oh. And what's wrong in sharing the good news of a family with her, a family that she's part of? What's wrong in that? Scott, so you don't see anything wrong with the way you light up when you're about to discuss with that little girl. You don't see anything wrong with it. Scott, you need help. I beg you, keep my name, my history, my story out of your mouth. Learn to keep a little secret. You are a man. You are a man. I was thinking, now that we're expecting our own baby, I'm really happy that God has finally answered our prayer. It's, it's good news. I'm thinking that now that we're expecting our own child, what's now the point of keeping Frida here? Let's just return her to the orphanage where we collected her from. Are you okay? Ah, yes, I'm okay. What is speaking through you? Why, why are you sounding like you don't want her around? No, it's not about sounding like. The truth is that I don't want her around. What's the use of keeping her here? We're expecting our own. Just use the energy and keep this one. Let her go. You're unbelievable. Listen, that is not going to happen. Frida is our daughter. And there's no way she's leaving this house. Well, Frida is. This is not even a topic to debate. This child does not even look like us. Ha! Go back to where she came from. Congratulations, my <laughs> friend. Ah, I'm Thank so happy you. for you. At least now you can have your own child. <laughs> oh. uh, well, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. It's just that it doesn't erase my worry, but I'm happy. Worry? Why? Hmm. It's one that Scott gives all the attention to Frida. Would he have time to love my own child? What are you saying? Which father won't have time for his own child? Look, when this new baby comes, all attention will be drawn to him or her. You, Scott, Frida, everyone, including me. Uh -uh. What are you saying? Hey, be happy, please. Hmm. Well, I'm happy. I'm just. Hmm. Don't know. Okay. You have to know. Your husband loves kids. So calm down. Uh -uh. Sit down. I see you're folding clothes. That's good. 
I learned it very fast. These are my clothes. Wash them. And you will wash them very clean. If you use soap to spoil my clothes, you will die. If anything happens to my clothes, I promise you, you will die. And if I do not find anything to complain about, you will die. What can I do for you? Mommy, I'm hungry. Hmm. You're hungry? Have you finished what I asked you to do? Okay. You have to finish what I asked you to do. And then you go to the living room and you clean it. Mop it. When you're done, you clean the kitchen. Wash the dishes. And then I will see if there's food in this house for you. Probably. But mommy, can't I eat so that I will have energy to do the work you just gave? The only thing you need energy for now is slap. Get out! Yes. Where is your mother? She's in the room. I guess she's not feeling fine. Are you okay? Daddy, I'm hungry. Wait, you're doing all this work on an empty stomach? Just put that away. Go into the kitchen. I'll come make you something to eat. What is wrong with you? You're here watching TV, lying down there lazily while you have that little girl clean the house. What has come over you all of a sudden? Huh? Did anybody put you through that at, at that age? Do you realize that I am also carrying your child? And this child is more important than that little girl. What did I ask her to do other than wash and clean the living room? What's so difficult for her to do? Is it me that is pregnant that you expect to mop the floor for her? Oh, wow. What's so difficult? Really? It's not difficult. Well, if it's so difficult for you to do, why not get a housemaid? Listen. I will not have this in this house. You're not going to treat that little girl like a nobody, okay? It needs to stop. I won't have it. And I will not have you treat me like a nobody too. You just walk in here and you take sides with the little girl. I'm pregnant. Does that mean anything to you? You don't, you don't care about my child, obviously. You! So you want to cause 
problem between my husband and I, isn't it? You want to cause confusion in my in my home? Henceforth, you will work. You will work for everything that you eat in this house. Ah, you're even eating with two pieces. Two pieces of meat in my house. This will be the last time you eat with meat. Carry this plate and get out of my face right now. Get out! Did I do anything wrong? Mimi has changed suddenly towards me. She makes me do all the hard work and she even shouts at me like I'm a stranger. Mommy still loves you. The thing is she's just experiencing changes in her hormones because of the pregnancy. You see, when women are pregnant, their emotions are heightened. They talk to people differently. They react differently to things. So. We just have to tolerate her a little longer, okay? But she still loves you, I assure you. But Daddy, what can I do to make her happy with me? I don't like being scared when I see her. Relax. You'll be fine. I'll talk to her and then I'll show you she'll treat you better, okay? Thank you, Daddy. I love you. I love you too. I'll always be here to protect you, okay? Thank you. All right, give it to me. I'll take you in now. Sit tight. Mm -hmm. Upstairs with me. Come here. Hey, come here. Ah, what's what wrong with you? You come in, please. You, ah, you, 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 stop it. you don't know me. Ah. You don't know me. Let her go. What go. I do to you? Stop it. All you know how to do is eat and, and take my husband. No. Ah. Rubbish. wrong with you? This is not you. Why will you let all your anger on that small girl? A girl that sees you as a mother. What She's is wrong with you? my child. I've told Scott, take this girl to wherever we brought her from. Return her. How hard is it? At the end of the day, this girl will come and be dragging my husband's property with my child. Is that why people understand the essence of this fight? Let her go. Oh, and you think to maltreat her is the only way? Wait, don't you think it will affect your husband? Your husband sees Frida as his own child. Babe, I don't like this thing you're doing. You have to stop it. Listen, I do not want that girl in my house again. I'm expecting my own child. Let her go. Scott, take her back to wherever you brought her from. That's all I'm asking. Isabel, stop this joke. This will affect your marriage. Ha! Huh. It will not affect my marriage. <laughs> Before Frida will affect my marriage, I will destroy her. Oh, bitch. You need to learn how to balance the love you have for the both of them. Share it properly. I'm sure you can see your wife is no longer comfortable with your daughter around. The sudden change, it doesn't make any sense to me. 
I mean, it can't be because of the pregnancy. She treats us so badly. So, so badly. I, I really need to talk some sense into her. Yes, but you need to apply wisdom. So she doesn't see it like you're siding um, Frida. Please. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you for coming out to tell me this. Thank you. Um, I will talk to her later. No problem. I don't want you guys to have issues. No. Please. Okay. All right. I'm sorry if I've offended you. <laughs> Please, don't be mean to me again. If I've offended you, please forgive me. I promise not to do whatever is making you angry. Uh, madam, 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 madam. The only way I can forgive you, like you said, is if you leave my house. Mom, please. You know I don't have any other place to go. I don't have any other parents. Ah, you will have oh. You will have where to go. Because this house will not contain me and you. That's what you don't understand. I don't want anybody that will come and be dragging property with my children. Or dragging attention and love with my children. I don't want it. Mommy, please. Ah, don't call me your mommy. Don't call me. Don't try it. I've done enough for you. You are already dragging love. Are you not dragging love with me? So what are we talking about? Pack your things and get out. Mommy, am I your mother? Do we look alike? Do you even resemble my husband? My friend, get out of my face. How was work today? It was okay. And, um, how are you? Mm. Are you going out? No, I'm just here and I'm just bored. Really? And you're looking so beautiful. Oh, mm. thank you. Yeah, um, so, um, where's Frida? I didn't see her coming in. You know, sometimes I think that you deliberately try to annoy me. Because I don't understand why you're working here. Asking me about Frida. Knowing for the world I don't want her here. You know when you mention her name I'll be upset. Mm. But you come back home and the first thing you talk about is Frida. Mm. Why do I care where she is? You want me to shout? Mm. No, really. Me and you can't do anything without you bringing that girl's name into this issue. Babe, okay, I'm sorry. Ah! Babe, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way now. Stop making your face like that, you know, it makes me, you know, think about, you know. Huh? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, listen, babe. I'm more serious now. Frida is your daughter. Hmm. She's your daughter. She's not my daughter. This is a home. You, you especially came up with the idea of getting, you know, a daughter hey, child. Hey, don't even go there. Okay. We've done enough for her already. I get that, but just try, just warm up to us. You to stay one full day without mentioning Frida's name. Okay, I'll try. I'll give you 100k. <laughs> right. Try it. You will not die. I know. But you know she has your nose. Oh, please. What would you want to eat? <laughs> Whatever my darling has for You me. can make this. Wait, oh. you call my mood to you. You're a handful. Ah. <sighs> Take it easy. Oh, baby, yeah. Just take it easy. This was good. Wait, 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 don't worry, I got this. Okay? I'm okay. I know you're okay, but we just have to be extra careful now. We don't want Frederick 
Excuse me. No, but stop saying that. I'm not going to call my child Frederick. No, we have to call him. He's Frederick, you know. He's Frederick. You know? Frederick, Frida, you know. And no, no. No. What? No. Whatever. I'm going to call him Frederick. Yup. And I need both of them, you know. They have to sleep in. FF. Like, yo, FF. So what happened to Scott? Scott. That's my husband's name. Wow. What happens to my opinion? Who's your husband now? Scott. Where is he? Oh, wow. Frederick! <laughs> I'm fine, man. You I go know. to the hospital with me one day and you're treating me like I'm an egg. Hello. How are you? Mm, 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 boom. So, how are you? Fine. Mm, I've got good news. Okay, what is the good news? Mm, you have to guess. Daddy, you're not no good at guessing. No, oh, but you just have to try. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. Um, so, myself and your mom, we went for a scan. And the result of that scan shows that you'll be having a baby brother soon. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, I'm happy to see you taking it, taking it well. Don't worry, I will make sure I balance the love, you know? Okay? Uh, trust me, yeah? Trust me. Trust me, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Put it right there. <laughs> All right, you... What have you been watching? Um, mm, I hope you're not watching something silly or night. No. Mm, you sure? All right, I'll check on you later. Put pressure on it, put pressure on it. Just hang in there. You get out of the way! Put pressure on it, put pressure on it. Don't take your hands off, okay? I'll get you to the hospital. Stay with me, okay? Just put pressure on it. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. I need a doctor now! I need a doctor. Calm down, sir. Calm down.
Doctor, my daughter, how is she? How is she? She's fine, right? She's, she's okay. That is my daughter. We're trying our best. We're trying our best to save her. Okay, and so you saved her, right? You, you tried your best. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're so sorry. So, so sorry about what? Where's my daughter? Look, where's my daughter? I'm sorry about what? Where is my daughter? Where is she? You're sorry. Oh, oh, oh. come on, come on, So don't damn you. Oh, 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 Get your hands off me. Out of our daughter. Out of my daughter! You are evil. I will never forgive you for this. And you will pay. You will pay for this. I promise you, you will pay for this. Is she dead? Hey. I didn't touch her. All. I didn't touch her. I only asked her to leave the house. I mean, I'm just throwing her bags out. I, I, it's not my fault. Oh. It's your fault. It's your fault, you devil. It's your fault. Because you're selfish and you're never satisfied with anything. It is all your fault. I've been married to you for years. Not once did I complain about not having a child. Until you placed yourself on some sort of self-illusional pressure. You came up with the idea to adopt a child. I opened up to it. I accepted it. Just to make you happy. What? It's not enough for you. Nothing is ever enough for you, Isabel. Nothing! You have to take her away. All this while you pretended you loved her. You're fake. You're never real. You're evil. But it's your fault. It's your fault. You chose that girl over me. You gave her all the love, all the attention. You don't even care about my own child. And yet you tell me that, that it's my fault. What do you expect me to do? Are you listening to yourself? Can you listen to yourself? Contesting attention with a little child. Do you have any shame? I have no shame! I have no shame! Everybody is wake up! It's freedom! It's freedom! Do you care about me? You won't get away with it. You will not get away with it. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, 
good. Like, my wife she's bleeding. She's bleeding really fast. I can't, I can't, I can't move her. I need help to move her. I get somebody to help me. Calm down, calm down. The doctor will be out in no time. I just need you to sit down and wait for him, please. She's doing very well. She's stable now. Thank God. And my son? <sighs> I'm afraid we tried our best, but uh, we lost him. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Join shortly. Waiting for so many years. This is where it all ends. Why would God do this to me? It will be alright. Oh, my enemies have gotten me. Stop that. Everything will be fine. Ah, nothing will be fine, Brenda. Please. I'm finished. Isabel, please. Just completely and totally finished. Stop saying that. Please. It's okay. Mm. Okay. Everything will be fine. Mm -hmm.
Where, where, where are you going? Somewhere far away from your evil shadow. Oh. Um, I think I'll just give you guys a moment to talk. Frida died. But I lost a son too. Aren't we even? Why are you acting as if I'm the one who deserves to be punished? Are you seriously trying to shift blames? Are you? I'm not shifting blames, but I just think you're overreacting. I am the one who's hurt here. Why are you acting as if you are the one who's hurt? Why are you trying to make me feel guilty? You know, you deserve an Oscar for the role you played in destroying everything good we had. You took my daughter away from me. You took my son away from me. I just remember this. You did not just lose a daughter and a son. You lost a husband too. Scott, if you want to leave, then you can leave. Because I lost my son too, and I need time to mourn. I lost my son. Nobody's talking about that. Nobody. After how many years, all you care about is the God that we picked out of pity. Is that really how you think? What happened between you and your child was an accident. Scott, you never kill his own child. And what happened between Frida and I was also an accident. I would never intentionally kill her. But you saw that coming. With the way you were treating her, it was bound to happen. How was I treating her? And is that enough reason for Scott to leave the house? My friend, action brings about reaction. The earlier you start accepting that you started all of this, the better. Okay. Where is Scott? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, how was that written?
Yes, she has hurt you. You should know by now that your wife is immature. And she made a mistake, so have you. It's time for you people to kiss and make up and stop dragging issues. You both lost your children. Please, I don't want you guys to, to keep doing this. Try and settle. Please. No. No. She lost a son. I lost my daughter and my son. There is no going back from this. There is no way I'm going to forgive Isabel for this. This is just wickedness. She's, this, this is the worst she can do to me. This is the worst. There's no way I'm going to live under the same roof with that kind of a person. Scott, Never. Scott, I don't get this. You want to throw away your marriage because of this incident? There's no use crying over spilt milk, okay? What's done is done. I am through. I am done with this. I am done. I don't have good news. What happened? There was a complication during the evacuation. And uh, that's the reason for the pains you felt. Doctor, please, can you explain well? I'd like to see this in the presence of her husband. 
don't mind. I've called the husband. He should be on his way. Please tell us what is wrong. It will take a miracle for you to be able to conceive again, Isabel. Your wound took a very big blow. I'm so sorry. It is no secret that this marriage is long over. It's been one tragedy to another. It would be silly to just completely waste both our time thinking we can patch things up. Wow. That was straight to the point. You left me with no other option. This, my little was papers. I need you to sign them. So we can free ourselves of each other. 
um, pressed, oh, pressed. Can I just use the bathroom? I'll be, I'll be back in a minute. Still cannot feel What is the meaning of love? Why do you say that you love me But you hate me? You just don't care Why do you look to yourself? Why do you think that your own thing Is the best thing? You're so unfair If you could see the other side You would have seen it To give is what you get, so for the goose, for the gander, the deaf is with ease, but still cannot hear. When you think you're doing someone else, you might just be doing yourself. Don't discriminate me, don't give me tears. If you could see the other side, you would have seen it. If you could know the other side, you would have known it then. It'll be gettable, so it just shot in me. I will not sign it. I don't know how easy this is for you, but I am your wife, and there's no way I'm signing those papers. No matter how much you want me to sign it, I will not. If you want to kill me, then kill me. But I would rather die as your wife. I will die as your wife than divorce you.
have not. For I have sinned and come short of your glory. And in so many ways I have wronged you. You gave me a family, but it wasn't enough. And I destroyed everything that you have given me out of my wickedness. I pray that you find a place in your heart to forgive me for what I did to Frida. And I have no excuse for breaking your heart the way that I did. Have mercy on me. I pray that you can forgive me. For that child did me no wrong. I pray that you forgive my husband and myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. Yeah. so wrong for just one person to suffer alone. I think we both deserve a second chance. Are you, are you serious? Yes. Something, there's something I should tell you. The... That you can't bear children? How did you know? I was there. You just didn't see me. So what are we going to do? Nothing. Time will lead. Time takes care of everything. We had a beautiful family. And I destroyed it. No. I'm so sorry, no, Scott. No, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's okay. I broke your heart. I broke your heart. I'm so sorry. I took everything from you. I'm so sorry. I didn't any better I'm so sorry. See the other side, you would have seen it then. Life is so 